So I have made a lot of mistakes in my career as a programmer. And through this process of trial and error, I have identified five of the biggest learning to code mistakes that I made myself that usually hold people back from becoming advanced programmers. So why should you listen to me? Well, I have been a software engineer for more than two years now. I have worked as a corporate software engineer for a big company and also been a lead software engineer at my own tech startup. So basically I've spent a lot of time coding. And when you do that, it turns out that you learn one or two things about what works and what doesn't. And the reason why these mistakes in particular that I'm about to talk about are so common is because they are counterintuitive. It might not seem like these are mistakes in the surface, which is exactly why you are probably making at least one one of these mistakes right now and that is probably the reason that is holding you back from becoming a better programmer right now and by the way i've left the biggest mistake for last but first we need to understand the first four to have the context to understand the last one so let's start with the first one so mistake number one is an extremely common one and this is the most common reason that actually stops beginners from even trying let me explain. The mistake is worrying about learning the wrong language or learning the wrong things in general. Now there's this common misconception that the more programming languages you know, the better programmer you are. This could not be further from the truth. The one thing that you wanna get through your head as a programmer is that at the end of the day, almost all programming languages are really the same at the end of the day. They're all based on the same core programming logic. They use the same concept of loops, variables, functions, all of these kind of things. Like conceptually work exactly the same regardless of the programming language, which means that if you learn one language and you learn to understand the concepts, learning a new language is going to be a piece of Okay, like I could learn a new programming language in one day if I wanted. Now, of course, it matters what you learn in terms of job demand and things like this. So if you really just want me to give you an answer for something that you should learn, just pick either Python or JavaScript. And then later on, we'll talk about like roadmaps and like different tech stacks that you could learn and things like this. But if you pick one of these languages, you're always going to be good. But really, at the start, it doesn't matter. What you should focus on is learning the programming concepts not the syntax of the language. And worrying about learning the wrong things is just going to keep you spinning your wheels and stop you from making progress, which is why it is the first mistake. On to mistake number two, and this relates to how you learn programming. So when I first started learning programming, what I would do is just pick random course after random course and random video after random video, thinking that, well, I need to know all of these things, so it doesn't really matter in which order I learn them. Whereas in reality, number one, you absolutely don't need to know everything, and number two, it absolutely matters in what order you learn things. The economy is built on specialization of labor. To give you an analogy, it would be very inefficient if you, as a programmer, for example, had to also make grow your own food, if you had to build your own house, you had to do everything from scratch yourself. And that is why instead in our economy, there are other people who make your food for you or other people who build your houses for you. Similarly in programming, because there's so many different areas of programming you could specialize in, it would be inefficient for you to learn the ins and outs of mobile development, web development, data science, machine learning, AI, internet of things, everything. Because if you try to be a jack of all trades, you end up being a master of none. So it's much better for you to choose one path, one roadmap, and stick to that and really specialize and get really good at that one type of development. And there's many kinds of roadmaps. So here are some ideas from free to affordable to more premium. The best free roadmap that I followed myself in the early days of my programming journey was the Odin project. This is a completely free path to learn web development specifically. You will learn front-end and back-end development specifically using JavaScript. Now the con of this is that because it is free, it's not as engaging, it's maybe not as high quality. For a very affordable option, you have a zero to master it. This is essentially like the Netflix of coding courses. It's essentially this full platform where for one subscription, you get like 70 plus coding courses where you have different roadmaps for all kinds of paths from JavaScript development, machine learning, blockchain development, whatever you're interested in, in one place. Now the issue here is that while you will learn the technical skills, it might not be as detailed and it might not give you all the other skills, like non-technical skills that you would also need to actually land a job in your Trojan path. And for that purpose, I have created a more premium resource, which is my own program, Python Developer Bootcamp. Now, if you're not interested in becoming a Python developer, then this is obviously not right for you. But if you are, 
then this is gonna be the most high quality, most premium option out there. At least, I mean, obviously I think that because I created it and that was the purpose that I created it for. You get everything you need to know about resumes, about all these kinds of things, about actually landing a job, all your non-technical skills, as well as of course, all the Python skills you need from zero to advanced. Of the most premium option, you have course careers, which is gonna be the highest price, but also give you the highest quality. You have different modules that are developed by different experts at those specific things. And the reason why this is actually the easiest and fastest way to break into the tech industry is that on top of the program, they also give you full support to actually landing a job because they, as the company, have connections to actual employers. So some people have actually landed job directly via course careers without even applying for jobs themselves. So these are just some options for roadmaps that you can follow from zero to not make the mistake number two of not following a roadmap. So after you avoid mistakes one and two, you should be able to know what you should learn and to stick to one part. And the biggest stumbling block ahead of your way right now is going to be consistency or rather lack thereof. Now people think that learning to code is complicated. It's actually not, it's actually extremely simple. All you have to do is follow some sort of roadmap with some sort of courses and just go through it step by step. And along the way, just build some projects to practice things. And over time, if you just practice enough, your brain is going to get good at programming. The challenge that most people face is not knowing what to do. Like really at the end of the day, you do know what to do, but the challenge is not doing it and not doing it with consistency. It takes time to become a good programmer. What you need to do is simply keep putting one foot in front of the other every single day. Just set some target, like 30 minutes a day, if that's all you have. Anyone can do 30 minutes a day of coding if you really want to learn to code. So mistake number three is not staying consistent. On to mistake number four. So at this point you might ask, Okay Thomas, that's easy for you to say, but how do you stay consistent? And I'm glad you asked, because the reason why you're struggling to stay consistent is because you're making mistake number four. To illustrate this mistake, let me give you two stories from my life when I was trying to learn something new. Story number one is that at one point in my life, I really wanted to learn Chinese, like the Chinese language, but I really, really struggled with it. And the reason I struggled with it is because I didn't really have a proper purpose for learning Chinese. I was never gonna read books books in Chinese. I was never gonna watch shows in Chinese. I was never gonna live in China long term. So while I was interested in learning Chinese, there wasn't like a proper purpose for me to learn Chinese. So I ended up losing motivation because it's actually very hard work to learn a language like Chinese. And another story is when I was learning YouTube for the first time. Now this time I actually had a very strong reason why I wanted to learn YouTube. Number one, because I really, really wanted to become a YouTuber like professionally as well to make that into my career. And number two, because learning learning YouTube and becoming a YouTuber would not only give me the financial stability to pretty much do whatever I want, but also the lifestyle that I dream of, of traveling around the world and things like this, because work as a YouTuber is extremely independent. So unsurprisingly, I succeeded at becoming a YouTuber, but I failed at learning Chinese. And why is that? Well, it's because with learning Chinese, there was no why. There was no purpose for me to learn Chinese. So it was very, very difficult for me to consistently keep myself motivated. Or perhaps because you actually really enjoy coding and you have some specific project or some idea that you want to build with your coding skills. These are very good reasons to learn to code, but whatever it is, you need to find your why because otherwise you're just going to end up giving up. Now I told you before that I left the biggest mistake for last. And that is because even if you do all the other things correctly, if you don't make any of the first four mistakes, you're still really not going to learn to code if you make this last mistake. And the tricky part is, is that you might not realize why you're not making progress. You might not even realize that you are making a mistake. So what is this dubious last mistake. Well, what I'm talking about is how your brain actually learns coding. What you need to understand is that learning to code is not like learning some science like biology or history where you need to memorize some facts or something like that. Coding is not a science. Coding is a craft. It is a tool to build something, to solve some actual problems. You see, our brain is not designed to acquire things that we're trying to memorize or learn mechanically. Our brain is designed, especially in the realm of any kind of skill like coding, 
to learn things through acquisition, which happens when you practice actually using that thing in a real world context. So what does that mean very specifically in the case of coding? It means you need to be building projects. It's not enough to learn what a loop is, to learn what a variable is, to learn what object on the programming is. If you don't build something where you actually use variables, where you use loops, where you use object oriented programming, because your brain is not going to recognize that those concepts are important unless you are actively trying to extract those things out of your brain by using them to actually build something real. And not building is the biggest mistake and a mistake number five, not building projects. Because if you don't do this, then you're not going to learn to code no matter what you do. But to build projects, you also need the right ideas for the right kinds of projects that you should build that are fun, solve a problem, and also improve your programming skills in the process. Because if you don't have those things, then you might end up wasting your time with the wrong project which is why right now you should watch this video where I simply show you a bunch of really great beginner project ideas for Python specifically so that you can start coding projects right now without having to worry about coding the wrong projects. So go watch that video next and I will see you there.